We're returning now to some breaking news we have for you in Aurora, where a pedestrian and several cars, including police vehicles, were hit by a stolen truck. This started with a fight. It's come to an end at Mexico and Adelia. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn's live on the scene for us. Russell, what have you learned? Well, Anna, this apparently started as a domestic dispute, possibly at a daycare here in Aurora, where a man enters the daycare and tries to stab his ex-girlfriend or possibly girlfriend with a pair of scissors. Some employees jump in to save her and then they call 911 and a high-speed chase ensues. The guy comes flying down Mexico right here into this parking lot over here. He runs into that uh, patrol unit you see over there with front end damage and then he jumps this embankment if Gary could pan back over and then over into this lot, apparently flies into this lot, runs into this parked car, which uh, luckily no one was inside at the time, and then he flies back down Mexico, hits another patrol unit, and eventually comes to rest at Mexico and Idalia. There's a standoff of some sort. Police have him at gunpoint, and at that point they arrested him. Um, we're told that no officers were injured in this chase, but a pedestrian was hit here at Mexico in Chambers. That person apparently has minor injuries. And there was also a passenger car that was hit involved in this high-speed chase as well. And those people were also transported with injuries of some type. We're not sure. This story is still breaking, so we hope to have the very latest for you this afternoon on 7 News. But that's the latest from this location in Aurora. I'm Russell Haythorn. Back to you guys. Russell, I know you want to get with the officers as you continue to uh, look into this, but there were no children injured at that daycare center? No children injured, and apparently the uh, girlfriend or ex-girlfriend was not injured either. Um, some employees were able to uh, apparently subdue the man for a time until they were able to call 911, and then, of course, he got away. We're not sure if he got away, and we've been, we've been told he got away in her car or possibly his car. Uh, details still developing with regard to that, Bertha. Yeah, a lot of loose ends we need yeah. to tie up. Thank you so much, Russell, for that report. We really appreciate it.